Well, for many in Hawaii, it was a simpler time when sugar was king and plantation life was the norm. In tonight's Kapuna Life, Christina Ueno introduces us to a volunteer who spent decades trying to perpetuate this piece of local history. Visiting Hawaii's plantation. So we would start with the Hawaiian flag since they were the first plantation workers. Is like taking a step back in time. But because of the demand of sh for sugar increases, there wasn't enough labor here. And so that's the reason they started going around the world looking for labor. When different ethnic groups immigrated to Hawaii to work and live on the sugar plantations. And if it weren't for this place, I think the, uh, the history would be lost. Robert Castro doesn't want that to happen. For more than 20 years, he's been volunteering at this outdoor museum, telling others what life was like back then. He takes groups of people on two-hour-long tours, showing them replicas of plantation structures with clothes, furniture, and art. He also educates them about plants. And uh, breadfruit is a very important plant. Everybody familiar with breadfruit? My grandmother used to steam it with Portuguese sausage, which would give it some flavor, a splash of tomato sauce, and stalks of green onion. <laughs> Castro's interest in history started at a young age. It sort of grew on me, I guess, uh, from when I was little and asking my grandma where she came from. Some of his family members lived and worked at the plantation in Waipahu. Castro, who has a history degree, also helps out at the Portuguese Genealogical and Historical Society of Hawaii. He volunteered at the state archives before the pandemic. I guess it gives me something to do. <laughs> you know, it's a social activity because you have the other docents, the staff here. Oh, he's one of our very knowledgeable and fantastic volunteers here. Evelyn Alo is the director of Hawaii's Plantation Village. She says before the pandemic, hundreds of people, including students, visited every day. Um, it's good for the young kids to know what it was like because it might have been their grandparents that was living on the plantation. Castro hopes visitors can get a real sense of what Hawaii was like, how it came to be, and why this point in time is so important. Hopefully people will walk away with an appreciation of how Hawaii's uh, multi-ethnic uh, population came about. For Kupuna Life, I'm Christine Ueno, KHUN2 News.